Hey Super Swing Traders, I hope you're doing good. Today we're going to take a look at some charts and see where we can identify supply and demand order flow and trade it for income. Let's take a look at USD NOC and see where we can identify supply and, love and demand levels. Take a look at the monthly first. We're going to analyze the monthly, weekly, daily, and four hour. But just keep in mind that if you're trading the higher time frames like monthly, weekly, daily to only use three time frames. If you're trading the lower time frames, you can use weekly, daily, four hour, and four hour will be your entry time frame. Let's take a look at the monthly first and see where we can identify the bias. So we have an a clear uptrend on the monthly. You can draw these this trend line here. But just keep in mind that let's see, there's a supply zone right here. Did, was it broken yet? No, uh, no, it has not yet. It has not yet. You can see that this is still in the midst of this supply zone, but it's been tested. So every time it's been tested, it keeps on getting penetrated deeper and deeper. So we're expecting the supply zone to be taken out and for it to go up higher does it always work no because but then we don't want to take any chances we don't want to buy up here because we're expecting it doesn't mean that it's going to because price could still drop but that's why we want to wait until this zone is broken to go long to go long but let's say that if it is broken then if it is broken, then we can go long on these lower time frames. Let's take a look at the weekly now. Weekly, same thing. We have a level of supply back here that we can't go long until it has been removed. But if price does break through this level, then we, c if price does break through this level, like break through here and then up higher, then we can go along down here. So right now we have, if price breaks through this level, then we can go along down here on this, on this weekly demand area. Okay, and then there's an uptrend. Uptrend, you can draw a trend line like this, or or even down here. On the daily, let's take a look. There's got to be a supply zone up there too. But anyways, it doesn't matter if we go up there because no matter what time frame we look at, if we're looking at the monthly, weekly, daily, even though we don't have a supply zone label up here, we know that on the on the weekly and monthly there is a supply zone, so we just cannot go long. We are, we have to wait until price has been removed. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we can draw a demand level right here. This is a pretty strong level of demand here. So if price on the monthly breaks, the weekly will also break, then we would want to go long at this area of demand. Let's see if this, this area is up a little bit higher than on the weekly, but doesn't mean that it's not going to work because it could it could bounce here instead of coming all the way down here or else it could it could break it could retrace to down here go up higher and then we take profits we take our profit of three to one at least and then it could drop all the way back down here to i believe this is where the level of weekly demand is and so it's it could play out like that 
Then on the full hour, we have levels of demand down here. This is the next level. And then this level down here is the one that's nested within the within the daily demand zone. Okay. And then down here is where it's within here. Okay, so that's the bias. The bias is to go long after the monthly and weekly supply zone has been removed. We don't want to go long right now, but we want to wait until these zones have been broken. No matter if you're trading the data, uh, the daily entry time frame or your four hour entry time frame, because if you're trading the monthly, weekly, daily, you still have to wait for the monthly supply zone in control to be removed before going long. Same with the weekly. You can trade in the weekly, daily, four hour. You don't want to go long right now. You want to wait until this zone has been broken and then retraces to this, to to any of the higher, uh, lower time frame um, entries. So if you're trading the monthly, you want this to be broken and then you want price to retrace back to this area or at least to this area before going long. You know, if as long as your demand is still in control and demand has been created, then you want to go long at the next area of demand, which is the daily. If you're trading the monthly, weekly, daily. If you're trading the weekly, daily, four hour, then you want to wait until this supply weekly supply zone has been removed and then you want to go long right here at this four hour that's why i set an alert right here as long as it removed remove this this weekly supply zone and price retrace down here then we want to go long otherwise if you're seeing on the four hour that if you're seeing on the four hour that your trend line momentum your momentum to the upside is reversing to the downside then you want to go on a lower time frame on a higher demand time frame but it's on the lower it's lower in the price and you want to go long at that area okay so that is the analysis on usd nonc i hope that helps you in your analysis and in your trading plan and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and click that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching.